Hi folks, Rich Pacini from RJPacini.com coming to you today to do a sneak peek video on a couple items I picked up today at my local thrift store and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Well, without waiting or any further ado, I picked up this here. First time I'm selling an appliance like this, I don't really sell these things, but I picked up this nice Keurig uh, coffee maker. It's pretty clean as you can see. All right. And I did, have, uh, I did a demo video on this as well. So that's going to be coming up when I do it. I'm going to, you know, when I do the video on this here, a demo video, you'll see it actually working, you know, with the water coming out and everything else. But uh, this we got going on, nice clean Keurig white. Okay, clean inside. Everything works pretty functional. Okay. And that's what you got going on here. I'm going to put this to the side over here without damaging it. I also picked up a couple of Disney things. I picked up this nice, I guess if people got married or whatever, uh, you know, if you're winning, maybe you got married at Walt Disney World and uh, you might want to have a nice picture frame to share it with, to hold on to, okay? So we got here, gotta be careful with this, I don't want to drop it, it's ceramic of course, okay? Pretty clean condition, overall. Okay, I think it has like two little, I think on a bottom over here, there's two like little nicks. Right over here and over here. On this side here. And uh, here's, this, here's what it says on the bottom of it, just in case you want to look at it. There you go. All right, authentic original Disney theme parks. Okay, Walt Disney World Resort, Lake Buena Vista, Florida. This was purchased there. In very nice condition too, look at it. Okay, my finger says I'll drop it. It's nice, right? Okay, we got that going on. Let me put this over here because I don't want that to get damaged. I picked up another Disney plate. Um, this is a nice one too. This is a vintage plate, I believe. Um, it says edition limited to 10,000 plates made in the USA. This is what the back says. Okay. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what the back says. So we got that going on. Nice condition, clean, no chips I could see on it, visible. Okay. So this is from a date, well, according to this, uh, it says 1971, 1986, so it's definitely vintage, you know. Um, it's a nice plate. If, you, if you're a collector of Disney plates, you might want to add this one to your uh, collection. Very nice, very nice plate. And it's made in the USA, folks. Made in the USA. All right. I picked up this here, this nice Xbox wireless controller. Um, I'm gonna probably do a demo on it, just you know, talk a little about it, you know, that it works and stuff like that. You know, here's where you put your two AA batteries in here, slides in there. I was wondering at first I, when I took it off, I didn't, I didn't take notice of this here to take, you know, to look at it. I thought the batteries were gonna say, "How come they're flopping around it?" And it's like, oh, okay, you got to put the batteries in here and then put. It. I don't own an Xbox, so you know, you could just whatever <laughs> but that's what we got going on and it's pretty clean condition you know I cleaned it up I mean I had to give a light cleaning on it I try to get out sometimes the uh, sometimes you get like little grime there I use one of these little brushes um, these little brushes like this here sometimes you can't get in here like now I'm looking at it right now and you see like you got like a little thing in here so I just take it out and just take out I don't know what it is it's probably from the kids playing with it whatever and they, they get stuff on their hands or whatever. I don't know but it's overall it's clean though I mean it's pretty clean you can see it Okay, you have Xbox 360, wireless, and uh, I will do a demo on you know, showing you how the power's up and just talk a little about it, whatever. Me and my demos, right? Demos, intros, you name it, I do it. Um, I picked up this here from Fisher Price. It's the Fisher Price um, Forest Friends gift set. Uh, as far as I can see, it was never cut open, it was never used, never, you know, taken out of the box, because it's, it's still taped from what I can see here. Um, so, I mean, if you're gonna pick this up for a gift or give to one of your kids, as far as I know, it was never taken out of the box. It's still intact. Um, yeah, this tape was never cut on this side here. And this one over here was never cut. You could see, I mean, you know, who gives baby things and let the kids play with them, put it back in the box to sell, you know, to get rid of it. <laughs> that would be crazy, but you got this going on here. Um, and that's Fisher Price. Then I picked up, I'm going through this pretty quick. I'm running out of stuff. I mean, after I think I have one more thing to show you. Um, here's an Anastasia 
uh, 20th Century Fox uh, Fox presentation. I guess that movie Anastasia, whatever. It's a little train set. Um, it's not bad. The box is a little disheveled, but I'll be honest with you. Looking at this, look at it close. I mean, you know, the box. You can see the box is a little disheveled here. You know, they must have taped it up. Um, I what I think this was at one point. I think it was somebody giving it to a kid or a person as a gift. And it was never played with, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, the reason why I say that, and if it was, they did a heck of a job putting it back in really clean because the bag here is still sealed. It's not taped or glued. You can see it's still sealed. Tracks. Okay. It, and it comes. It comes like this. Which it comes like this here. The trains. You know, these two tracks come in there. And I didn't even. I didn't even attempt to take the trains out. I don't think they were ever taken out. Look at this, you can see they're not even falling out. Uh, these, as far as I'm concerned, these were never played with. This is a new set. Even though the box is disheveled, this is still considered brand new. I mean, oh, it is new. Well, you want to say brand, brand new, but it's brand, it's new. It's new. It was never taken out. It was never taken out of here. And uh, usually you could tell stuff like that there. I don't want to try to force it out. I'm going to leave it just the way it is. The reason I'm holding it, I'm showing, I'm going to show you both ways because you can see the train upside down, this one here. And that one there, so you get the locomotive. It's only four pieces, and you get the tracks. Okay, and uh, that's basically it with that, you know. But I, the reason why I picked it up is because, again, I like to deal with new stuff, and um, you know, because not only that, it's good for the buyer. When the buyer gets it, they can't really complain and say, "Oh yeah, I bought this thing here, and, and if it was used, the batteries were in it and burnt out, whatever." But um, that's what we got going on with this. Okay, so this is this is this is new considering the box is disheveled, but it is new. And it just I guess it just tells you how to uh, you know, put the battery in. And there, and it just shows you the track layout, which is not you know, six pieces, whatever. So you know that's basically what you got. And uh, who knows? You maybe want to buy for your kids, but according to this here, though, um, it tells you over here they're not used rechargeable batteries. Use a warning contains replaceable battery screws. Um, which are not safe, not, oh, which is not safe for children under three. So of course you're gonna, the parents can always watch the kids. So we got that going. And the last but not least thing I got here is um, I'm not gonna hold this up in the air. I'm gonna move the, pan, the you know, webcam down. I picked up again another printer, and I got to do a demo on this here. Uh, this here is the Brother MF MFC 210C. I'm including with it a brand new USB printer cable. Okay. So whoever gets it, um, I got to do a test on it first. I, you know, as well, I just wanted to clean it up, make sure it's cleaned up. It has like little scuff marks over here, a little fade mark over here. Um, overall, it's not too bad, but I will be doing a demo on this after I make sure it works 100%. You know, I want to check it out. It might need cartridges. Here's your uh, paper tray that comes out here. I think I put it in wrong, but this is your paper tray here. You know, it slides out, this pops out here like that. This goes in. I think I put this in wrong because it was one in earlier. The last time went in nice and easy. Now, it's, for some reason, it's not going in the way I thought it was going. Unless, oh, I think I know what it is. I have the uh, cloth under here. That's what's getting it. See, it gets jammed on the bottom here. See, see, this whole piece moves out. So if you look at it, if you took the tray, you say, "Wow, there's something missing." Actually, it's a tray. That's why I was going in a little difficult. I had the cloth in here because you notice know, these things to scratch the desk. Uh, yeah, so I got to do a demo on this here. Um, and like I said again, I'm including this with a brand new package, uh, USB printer cable. You can see it was never opened. I gotta do a demo on that. And uh, once that's done, I will load it up. These items, I already taken pictures of them. The uh, stuff that you see here is uh, been having pictures. So uh, again, this is just a sneak peek. Uh, this is the first time coming to my YouTube channel. Um, my name is Rich Bassini. I do art, uh, I do, I do sneak peek videos, demo videos, and intro videos, and. Um, if you want to keep on top of uh, you know the things that come out with when I do new videos uh, and or you're interested in seeing new merchandise I put out, please subscribe to my channel at uh, you know you can subscribe it there. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Um, my on my eBay uh, user ID I changed it recently from RJ Pacini to shop RJ Pacini for great deals. Just throwing a little segue out there, um, but it's got a lot of dashes in there. So um, if you did go on there, you would see it would say shop dash. RJ Pacini dash four dash great dash deals, you know, and that's that's the eBay 
uh, use or ID. The other way was a lot easier. You just go type in RJ Pacini. So I don't think any, lots of many people are going to keep me in to save things, considering I changed the name that long with the dashes in there. So, but if you did, if you did want to uh, keep on top of things, you could just you know click it on, I guess. And uh, well, you don't have to, you don't have to type all that in anyway. Um, when you go into uh, my listings on eBay. Uh, it can say save seller or add to watch list. So you don't even have to do that. You don't have to type in the whole name. That's the, that, I think the only time you would type in my name is if uh, you're looking, you're doing a search on it. If you didn't know me at all or whatever, or someone told you about it, say, oh, here's this guy, you might want to check him out. Here's the eBay user ID. Then you would use that there with the dashes and all that stuff. Um, and people want to know why I changed the name. I just wanted to change it. I just thought it was just too bland, just leaving the RG Bassini. So I figured, let me just add a little to it. And uh, that's basically it. Uh, I don't really have much to say on this stuff, folks. Uh, I don't have price points for any of this, uh, these items. I got to do my research on there. Uh, like I said, again, I did my demo video. No, I, did, I did it on my uh, digital camcorder. I got to upload that and put it on, uh, on what I call, I use a software called uh, PowerDirector 14. I love it. And uh, that's how I create a lot of my videos. Uh, this one here is Cyberlink UCAM 5. Uh, in which I'm doing a, this video right now, this video presentation. So uh, that's that's what I got to work on. But anyway, I don't want to hold you guys up. Thanks for stopping by, checking out my YouTube channel. Again, if you like what I do, please subscribe. Let's have you a subscriber. If you like what I do with these videos uh, and you think they help out in any way, please give it a thumbs up. And I will be talking to you guys soon. Uh, meantime, have a great day. Bye now.